good morning everyone today we are going to discuss about electrical distribution systems basic terms and definitions and relationship between loss factor and load factor what are the loads and their characteristics all this will be distribution system in the sense the part of power system which distributes electric power for a local use is called electrical distribution system connected load what is meant by connected load the total connected load is the mechanical and electrical load connected to particular area is called connected what is meant by demand or load the amount of electricity or load used in a specified period of time is called demand or load what is meant by maximum demand it is the highest level of electrical demand monitored in particular period of time it is the greatest demand occur over a period of time is called maximum demand what is meant by base load so many times we are calling as a base load power plant base load power plant which is base load power plant hydro power plant is called as base load power plant base load power plant is an electric generation plant that is exposed to operate in most hours of the year that is called base load the hydro power station or our power plant access base load power plant what is meant by load modeling load modeling is the matter and mathematical representation of relationship between power and voltage load modeling ante constant current model gaani current gaani voltage gaani edo odi constant ga anukoni mana modeling chestam representing the mathematical representation of the relationship between power and voltage where power is either active or reactive constant power model constant current model ane two models unnai load modeling e vidhanga chestam anedi ikkada unit 1 lo untundi coincidence factor meeku diversity factor telusu sum of individuals maximum demand by maximum demand is known as the ratio of uh, sum of individuals maximum demand to maximum demand is called diversity factor reciprocal of uh, diversity factor is coincidence factor the contribution factor is the percentage of end user revenue that contributed to universal use the contribution factor is a percentage of end user revenue that will be contributed to universal service fund to support the universal service program that is established by fcc the contribution factor changes every quarter low loss factor you know that load factor the loss factor is the ratio of average power loss to peak load power loss is called loss factor what are the types of loads different types of loads are residential domestic commercial municipal agriculture industrial so many types of loads what are the way equipments comes under residential load is all apartments seasonal farm electrical loads and uses only 4 to 4 4 hours power during the day domestic loads domestic load is defined as total energy consumed by electrical appliances in home those are domestic loads comes under refrigerator fan lights and air conditioners mixers grinders heaters etc all comes under domestic loads commercial load means lighting shops offices advertisement etc these are commercial loads industrial load means uh, small scale industries what are the equipments they consist those are industrial loads mainly induction motors will be the induction loads composite load function of frequency and load so many loads are induction load induction motors only agricultural loads are irrigation purpose we are using induction motors motor pumps the load factor is very small 0.15 to 0.20 what are the factors affecting system load forecasting 
what are the factors affecting load forecasting the load growth of the geographical area served by utility company is the most important factor influencing the expansion of distribution system therefore load forecasting of load increases and system reactions to the increase essential to the planning process there are two main load forecasting methods long range and short range 15 to 20 years if you consider the load study then it is a load forecasting long range short range means 5 years distance within less span of 5 years so that is the load forecasting short term these are the factors cost of material material cost operating cost power losses capital losses land building losses building costs all these are comes under load forecasting factors affecting load forecasting alternative energy sources load density population growth historical data geographical data land use city plans industrial plans so many factors affect distribution system load forecasting what is the relationship between loss factor and load factor that is very important what is meant by loss factor before going that what are the load characteristics demand it is the demand of a system is the load at the receiving end over a specified period of time is called demand maximum demand means it is the system that is greater the demand within the timeless interval maximum demand is the greatest demand that occur over a specified period of time is called maximum demand demand factor what is meant by demand factor it is the ratio of maximum demand of system to the total connector load it is also dimensionless demand factor usually is less than 1 demand factor equal to maximum demand by total load connected coincident non coincident maximum demand it is the non coincident maximum demand can be represented it is sum of demands that group of loads with no restrictions on the interval to which the each demand is applicable so many factors plant capacity factor already you studied in electrical power generating system that is also important load factor it is average load to maximum demand ratio is called load factor it is the ratio of average load over a designated period of time over a period of time if you consider it is average load divided by peak load gives load factor annual load factor how to calculate total annual energy consumption divided by annual peak load into total number of hours in a year if you multiply 8760 you will get annual load factor the diversity factor can be represented in formula manner fd equal to d1 plus d2 plus d3 and so on dn divided by group demand dz it is the ratio of sum of individuals max in demand to various uh, subdivisions of the system to max in demand of the whole system it is the sum of individuals max in demand to the group max in demand is called diversity factor we can represent in formula manner or in summation manner d1 d2 d3 and so dn these are the Individuals maximum demand and group maximum demand is dz that is represented by using sigma i equal to 1 to n di by dz. What is meant by load diversity? Diversity is defined as the difference between the sum of peak of two or more individual loads and peak of the combined load. The difference between sum of individuals peak load to the combined load it is called load diversity. what is contribution factor you know that the contribution factor ith load of the group max in demand is given by per unit of individuals max in demand of ith load it is the reciprocal of diversity factor fc contribution factor is given by sum of group max in demand divided by sum of individuals max in demand contribution factor loss factor it is the ratio of average power loss to peak load power loss during a specified period of time is called loss factor in the last class we discussed about what is the relationship between loss factor and load factor first we consider a primary feeder having a resistance and the inductance and the power losses pls1 
for this what are the average load peak load half peak load we drawn from this graph on x axis we taken time the peak load duration is small t and total load duration is t average load duration is t half peak load duration is half peak load which is uh, peak load is zero half peak load it is for that peak load what is the losses peak load power loss average power loss peak load power loss how to relate loss factor and load factor first load factor from the definition average load to maximum p average by p2 p average we can calculate from the graph p2 into t plus p1 into t minus t by t similarly by substituting all this we can get the relationship between loss factor and load factor 0.3 fld plus 0.7 fld square we can get how to relate this is so many cases we assumed case 1 of peak load is 0 case 2 is peak load is 0 and um, peak load almost nearly equal to 0 so many factors we assumed case 3 very short uh, listing peak that is t tends to 0 by taking all these assumptions we made a graph also Puller and Woodrow developed approximate formula to relate the load factor and loss factor. This is very simple derivation. Loss factor we also calculated from the graph. 